Right, a bit of a different video this one. Um, I'm at Campbell's Caravans in Preston. I don't know if you see the sign over there somewhere. And the reason we're here is our friend Glyn is picking up his caravan today. So I said I'd film it. He's picking up a Bailey Unicorn Cadiz. And uh, we're going to have a look and film the process. So why don't you come along with us? Mm -hmm. so goodbye to the old caravan and hello to the new one so we think this is the new one actually just bring it in yeah it is gas locker point there got a new motor mover on it the power touch motor mover oh come in there it goes time for a coffee first yeah, I've got a lounge here haven't I PDI is completed. We're now waiting them, waiting for them to show us around. All right, Glyn's away doing the payment for it, signing the paperwork. So I thought we'd have a crafty look round. Um, didn't want me to film whilst they were doing the handover, so they finished the handover now. So we're just going to have a look round. The van it is a very nice van. Nice big cupboards. There's your aerial, there's the Vision Plus system there. The radio in here as well. You know, if you see radio, a nice big picture window. See out there. I always like a clock. I like to see a clock in a van. But the, the lounge is beautiful. Seats are really comfy. Some extra cushions there. Yeah, it's nice and comfy here. There's loads of storage space everywhere here. You've got lockers under the, the seats, even a little locker down there. You've got drawers. Got pull out table. That's ideal if just having a meal between the two of you. Got a flap here, extra space for the kitchen. Drinks cabinet. Microwave. There's the plates. There's your cutlery drawer. So you've got a shelf area there, and your drainer thing here. And you've got electric hot plate, three burner hob. Grill, there's a grill pan in there. There's another pan in there. I think you've got some more storage under there. Put all your pots and pans in there. The other side of the kitchen, nice big fridge. It's a slimline fridge. It's got it set on um, electric at the moment. Obviously, we put it on gas or the battery when you're going along. Nice and cold. Over here, you've got all the controls. You've got your light switch. And there's your main switch there, and that's the main switch for switching it off. Fire 
Fire Angel as carbon monoxide alarms. Or locker space under here. And it's got a, um, a solar panel on the top, so you've got the, the, the charger up there, and that deals with the solar panel as well. So you can do a bit of off grid tele brackets here. Tele plugs there, so you can pull this out. It'd be difficult to do this one handed. Oh, undo that. Pull it out. I can't do it one handed. Right, so yeah, you can turn it around so you can have the telly facing the lounge. Or you can have it facing the bedroom. See more lockers. Under the bed, massive, masses of storage space. This blue thing is for the motor mover. There's a controller for it and the on off switch for the motor movers there. Got your electric cable in there. Your jack for letting the, uh, letting the spare wheel down, I understand. There's all the electrics in there. On the opposite side, Another big locker, plenty of space to store oh, anything, like a roll, like a waste. In the bathroom, radiator, the heating's been on so it's quite warm. Big wardrobe. sink as well. The usual set for cassette, all nicely cleaned. And you've got this massive shower. It's a great shower in here. Loads of room. Shower head. Yeah. It's better than some side showers. You've got the, the vent up the top, two lights in there. Oh, I think the power's off. <laughs> got switches for the lights up there as well. The light switches everywhere. It's a lovely van. Really nice. Outside, got your outside barbecue point. Just push that. That's it. Access to the under seat lockers. Got your stable door. I do wish these stable doors to motorhomes. <laughs> Such a good idea. And here you've got the. 240 volts, 240 volts socket. Now there is provision for a 240 volt outlet there, but uh, it's got the inlet for the satellite cable feed. Whilst we're under here, it's got the power touch motor mover, power touch evolution. Also, also notice that the, I don't know if you can see it, They've got the tyre pal uh, tyre pressure sensors on the wheels, which is quite good. But haven't, he hasn't got the the actual unit, so if he buys the unit, he's got a, a tyre pressure sensor system back of the van. Got your flush water where you fill up your flush water. That's where the toilet cassette comes out. Wastewater outlets. I'm just struggle to do those one handy. He's got a little butane cylinder in there. He's going to have to get the the bigger ones. I think the propane cylinders. A little bit lost in there. Your 
outlet for the Audi heating and there's the inlet for the fresh water. Yeah, so you've got uh, ATC, trailer control, hitch locks, stabiliser, back away. Yeah then. Right, that's it for now. Um, it's not ideally ideal weather for caravanning at the moment, but uh, Glyn's on his way home. He's got his new caravan. It's a nice shiny new caravan, and the caravan is barely a year old. Um, it's uh, a 2017 model and. The person, people who bought it have hardly used it. I think he's, the salesman said they'd used it about three, three times. It's barely used, and uh, it's got everything on it. It's a really good buy for for Glyn, and I think he's going to get years of uh, enjoyment out of it. So that's the end of the video. Um, if you like what you see, give us a like. Uh, remember to subscribe. Hit the notifications bell icon so you get updates when we release a new video. I'm going to rush back now and see if I can upload this in time for a 6 o'clock on Friday. And if I don't do that, well, it might be a little bit later. So I'll see you soon then.